Sir, we're getting status reports from a set of marines in the village. Their situation isn't sounding too good. They are currently broadcasting that they are surrounded by Russians. What should we do? Those marines need to hold their position until further reinforcements can arrive. Send them a broken arrow if their position falls. I'm don't go get those orders to them now. What is going on? I am really hyped for this battle. So we have a Russian T-90. I believe it's, yeah, T-90M. Large amounts of Russian infantry. Russian uh, gas tigers. More Russian infantry and gas tigers. A Russian helo that is going to be scouting out them and then coming back and just raining fire down on them. Um, we have Russians from this side. We have moved multiple tow launchers on these trucks here. Uh, there's another truck down here. And then the United States just has these emplacements, these infantry, and this uh, mounted M2 HB of 50 cal. Multiple Marines uh, scattered in all directions. And then in 90 seconds, some Apaches are going to arrive and just rain fire on the Russians. So let's get into it. So we already have a lot of small on fire going out of uh, Tiger also went down. The Apaches don't have enough weapons to destroy this T90M, but they don't really have enough weapons to really do much to it except track it. Uh, so, yes, the Russians have pretty much won this battle. There's no American. Oh, yes, there is one American alive. He's not the last up on the. Uh, right here. That would be amazing if one of those Apaches just took out the entire squad. I'm going to probably take control of the Apaches. Just so I can do that. I've chosen
I just think it's in Hattie videos like what this channel started off on. Um, I'm wanting to do more voiceovers just because it makes me, it gives the experience a little bit more context. So for example, there's just a not their position and the Apaches are just raining fire on these Russians. Well I can't get back to the Apache. Um, there's like a certain way you have to look at it in order. <laughs> um that sounds really weird but uh yeah okay here it is. heavy casualties on both sides. Of course, all the Americans were no longer alive. But what's this one doing? <laughs> Sounds odd. Um, anyways. Uh, this is where I just shot that missile at. I think a lot of the bodies were destroyed by the missile. I don't actually know if missiles can destroy bodies or not. But I think the bodies were destroyed by the missiles. Uh, lots of more Russians that are no longer alive down here. Um, these Russians are retreating. So, no bodies there. Uh, did like a missile hit here or something? Because it's just a large concentration of bodies. Uh, more bodies. So yes, as you can see here, a lot of dead on both sides. Uh, no Americans are left alive, besides the Apaches, but those were called in later. Um, very little Russian forces left alive. These, all these gas tigers were disabled. The majority of the infantry were made no longer alive. And I'm probably just going to take control of this Apache and just clean up everything. Where is the Apache? See, this is the thing about air support and called arms. It flies just above camera view. Okay, so I think I'm, okay, here it is. And the thing about it flying just above camera view is that's really inconvenient to take control of air
heavy losses both sides I did play part in this battle I know um, but okay uh, why is this team uh, is that a bug in the game I don't know why this tank disappeared why is everything disappearing? Everything is invisible. Okay, that is. Now that's another screenshot. The Apaches just move so fast that the uh, tank can't get shot off on. But uh, anyways, this is pretty much the battle completed. Uh, all Russians no longer existent. All Americans except for the Apaches, no longer existent. Uh, lots of destruction. And that's pretty much all for this video. So if you like this type of video, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. Helps out the channel. Helps good content like this recommended to others. Uh, Thunderbird, out.